Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, the, I'm going to be talking about the new Black Ops map pack, Annihilation, that just came out um, yesterday, because today is June 29th. It might be June 30th when I upload this, but um, I don't know. I'll probably upload it today, though. So, anyways, Annihilation just came out on Xbox um, yesterday, and uh, it contained five all-new maps, Hangar 18, Drive-In, Silo, and you can't see those two. Um, unfortunately, uh, I have to say, guys, I, I got these uh, for the internet. I downloaded them. So a lot of these pictures are going to be kind of low quality and hard to see, but I'll point out anything that needs to be. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on these maps. I haven't actually played them myself, but I've seen so much videos, so many like run-throughs of them and, and uh, overviews of the map that I know where to go, what to do, uh, some good tactics, and what game types are good for it and stuff like that and I'm gonna give you my personal opinions on what I think are gonna be good and not uh, I'm on PS3 so I can't get the maps for another month but when I do um, I'll be excited so anyways let's get on so the new maps uh, you can't really see down there it's kinda cut out but that's Hazard which is the remake of Cliffside from World at War and I like Cliffside from World at War so um, Hazard is probably the one I'm most excited for um, in the map pack and then Shangri-La Zombies uh, Shangri-La looks decent. It looks um, actually, well, not decent, more than decent. It looks kind of cool. Uh, it's smaller than Call of the Dead, definitely. Call of the Dead is still the biggest zombie map. Um, I would have to say that Shangri-La is maybe, uh, like, maybe, uh, hard to say, maybe a little bigger than Ascension maybe as far as area space I don't know it might be a little smaller than Ascension but um, it, it's around Ascension size uh, somehow you can compare the size of it to Ascension so um, anyways let's get on with info on the map so starting out we have Hangar 18 uh, Hangar 18 is based on like I said a famous actually the most famous hangar in the uh, highly controversial Area 51 um, Many people argue whether or not uh, Area 51 it actually exists or not. I believe it does, personally, but I don't really follow that stuff much, so don't even ask me on any more than that. I just believe it exists. But I know Hangar 18 is the most famous hangar, um, most well-known from Area 51. And my opinions on this map, after seeing many overviews of it, and many, like, uh, gameplays... Um, as you can see, this is just uh, photos captured from the trailer of the uh, the maps. But photos captured still says a lot. So I can tell you right now, the ho most highest traffic area in uh, Hangar 18 is going to be this Blackbird area right here. And also the building on the inside of the Blackbird. It's the middle of the map. It's where everyone's going to be. It's where, as you can see, one of the bomb sites is. But it's also where the B flag is. Um, and then you have spawns on... Uh, that side and this side over here. Uh, I wish I had overviews of the map, but I don't unfortunately because I one don't have a PVR and two don't have an Xbox, like I said. So, but I can provide you some information. So that's going to be nice. Um, that's the main high traffic area. This map is a medium sized map, uh, so it's decent for close engagements, and uh, you're going to find some some good ones, I guess, uh, towards the middle of the map. Uh, this is kind of an overview of the map a little bit. So we have one spawn here, and then we have one spawn kind of off to the corner over here. You can't really see it. And then this is a better view of the Blackbird in the middle. So this is the middle area, and then you got the building over here that people go in. Um, so it's a decently sized map. Decently sized, sorry. Uh, Drive-In. So Drive-In, they said, was going to be the next Nuketown uh, because it's so tiny, they said. Like, they said Nuketown was a big success because it was so tiny and there was a lot of close engagements. And personally, I mean, that's not the only reason I love Nuketown. Uh, another reason I love Nuketown was um, the color. Because, honestly, um, and that's another reason why Hazard I'm looking most forward to in the map pack. I'll get to that later. But the color on Nuketown was awesome. It was so bright and it was so colorful and I loved it and all the other Black Ops map packs are like gray grayish blue white it's like come on the uh, Treyarch why don't you add some excuse me I'm I just hiccuped why don't you add some color to your game I mean honestly when it came to, Infinity Ward when it came to color 
they made their map so colorful. And uh, Woody's Gamer Tag actually talked about this in one of his videos, but um, actually a lot of his videos. But uh, Carnival, that map that people always compare Zoo to, uh, Carnival was almost so colorful that people blended in to the environment, and you could you could it's like it's like real camouflage because you can't see them because of all the colors. Like they blended in so well. Um, so that's why I love. Uh, I mean that was like a little overdone, but that's when it, that's when Infinity Ward does with their games. They just they make it all colorful, and um, Nuketown was really colorful, so that's why I like that map. Now Drive-In, they're comparing it to Nuketown. As far as color goes, Drive-In is still kind of that brownish gray, you know, like not very colorful. Um, and then another thing, they said it was tiny like Nuketown. No, it is not, guys. It is big. It's not like too big. Like it's not array or like I mean. You know any big maps? It's not like jungle or array or anything, but it is big. I mean, it's like I would compare it to the size of. Uh, it's like bigger. It's it's about bigger than Summit. It's, yeah, it's bigger than Summit, and it's about the same size as Grid. It's not big. I mean, it's not small. <laughs> it's not small at all, guys. It is. It's big. I mean, I've seen people run through the map just to like show like areas of it and stuff, and it is it's not small at all. I mean, you'll see a better photo of it here. I think. Um, look, this right here, just this whole area, is like more than half of Nuketown, and then you still got this galactic thing, and you got the theater uh, thing. If I can backtrack just a bit, you got that theater thing right here. You see that theater thing? I mean, there's like a bunch on that side. Um, it's just so it's big, um, but this map I have to say, drive-in. After watching a lot of videos on it, it reminds me of a combination of Trailer Park and Convoy. So Convoy, if you guys know, if you played Convoy, it has those like diners and buildings and gas stations that you can go into the sides of the map, and then you have the like the thing down the middle. This is much like that. There's uh, diners on the side and and that that big theater thing, and then you have the middle here that you can go in. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it reminds me of, and then there's trailers on the side for some reason, I don't know why, but, uh, it reminds me of, like, a combination of Trailer Park and Convoy, so that's Drive-In, um, it, it looks decent, like, I don't think that's gonna be my most excited map, like I said, um, Hazard's gonna be my most excited, but, yeah, definitely not small, it is not gigantic, and uh, speaking of gigantic, uh, my penis, no, I'm just kidding, uh, <laughs> Silo, um, Silo is huge, it's the biggest map in the game, bigger than Array, I think that was actually the biggest map before Silo, I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that, um, I always thought it was anyways, so it's bigger than Array, um, it, it reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Quarry from Modern Warfare 2. It looks like Cory. Um, now, I only found one picture of it here, and you can't really see it very well, but it looks a lot like Cory. It's this big map uh, with with some close engagements, but um, from the way I looked at it, it doesn't really look like it, it'll play like Cory um, at all, because Cory, I ran into a lot of people all the time, but this just looks like it'd be so big that you don't run into people a lot, and I don't know. I, I'm not looking forward to Silo. Everyone says it sucks. Um, only some people say they like it. I mean, those are the people who um, camp with ghosts. Another thing, this map promotes camping like crazy. There's so many camping spots on this map. So I'm going to vote to skip this map every time. I'll play it a few times, but I'm just going to vote to skip it. All right, and lastly, we have Hazard. All right, so... Hazard, um, finally an HD picture, by the way, huh? <laughs> Alright, so Hazard is is a remake of, well, remake, yeah, about a, I would say a remake of Cliffside um, from World at War. And I like Cliffside, it was a nice map, uh, probably one of the best maps in the game. And Hazard is like a, like a reimagining of Cliffside. So what it does is it takes Cliffside and it completely like re, it like repaints it. And it makes it look like a golf course on a on a like a country club kind of a thing. So, um, uh, I remember I was watching uh, uh, Mark J one of his videos today, and he was saying he was like, uh, "Man, why is this called Hazard? It should be called Big Ass Golf Course." And definitely, it should be called Big Ass Golf Course because 
um, it is a big ass golf course. Uh, so it's it's like it's um I would say about the size of uh, oh this is kind of hard to tell maybe launch ish about that size. So it's a it's a decently sized map. Just imagine cliffside. It's it's like cliffside but a repaint and a few different things. Um, but you can see there's like a golf cart and and uh, that guy's got the flag there. They're playing capture the flag and um, th like I said, this is taken from the trailer. But you know, so hazard. Um, I'm looking forward to it a lot. It looks like a great map and like I was saying earlier, look at this, all colorful. Oh my gosh, Treyarch, is, is this Treyarch who made this map? What is it? It's colorful. It's like, wow, you know. I mean, I'm I'm lo so looking forward to this map like crazy. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, that's that's Hazard. I think I might have another picture of it here. Maybe, maybe. Yes, I do. All right. So this isn't as good a quality, but um, you know, it's 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 a good picture. Uh, it shows Hazard. So I'm really looking forward to Hazard. I think it's going to be a great map, and um, I think this map pack is just going to be great once I finally get it. Uh, now I've seen so many videos. I mean, oh my gosh! One thing I didn't talk about though was Shangri La, and um, I figured I'd better talk about that in a separate video because this video is already at a limit, like 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna talk about Shangri La in a separate video in the next few days. Um, but yeah, so this is just the multiplayer map overview, and um, yeah, it's like I can't wait to play these maps. It's so far, from what I've seen, it just looks like a great map pack. Um, the only thing I'm not looking forward to would be Silo, uh, but that's okay. I can live through that. So, anyways, um, thank you for watching, guys. More videos to come. Uh, what was I saying earlier? Yeah, my sub box was like filled with yesterday. Uh, yesterday was like filled with so many videos about the map pack, especially Shangri La. I'm subscribed to Syndicate and Mercadurka, and they like, oh my gosh, it's like my sub box like had a seizure with syndicate mercadurga videos uh i enjoyed them all but i mean it was crazy so that is it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this little opinionated tative live video of the map pack uh, annihilation and um yeah i'm gonna make a separate video on shangri-la uh that zombie video because it looks i mean the zombie map looks cool but i can't really talk anymore it's getting getting down low to the down below, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Any rating helps us, um, really. And then, uh, yeah, that's my phone ringing, so I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.